Hinkle Fieldhouse is wrapping up its hosting duties. It is the first time it's had tournament games in 80 years. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid spent the day there to get a first-hand look at the big dance's impact at Butler. The last time Hinkle Fieldhouse hosted an NCAA tournament game was 1940. And tonight's final game may be the last. Get up there. Hinkle hosted 16 games in six days on perhaps the most memorable hardwood court of the most unforgettable tournament. The reception that we've received for Hinkle Field House from fans and from the media across the country has been outstanding. People are so excited to come watch a game at Hinkle. It's been the toughest ticket to get in town, regardless of who's playing there, just because people want to see a tournament game at that venue. Hinkle's place in basketball lore. And as home of the real live Hoosiers fairy tale was not lost on fans this weekend. It's pretty cool. I noted that uh, in the West we don't see a lot of these structures that uh, hang around as long as uh, as we do back here in the Midwest and the East. It reminds me of Fenway or Wrigley or sure it's got nostalgia out of every pore. It's a thrill just to be in the building. <laughs> That Butler University could not only pull off a big chunk of the national tournament on short notice, but also do it during a pandemic, will only add to Hinkle's storied history. When we were first approached about hosting games, we were a little bit nervous because we've done a great job of really locking down our campus and making sure that we didn't get cases of, of uh, coronavirus inside our bubble. We really felt confident and comfortable that they were going to be able to pull this off without any major outbreaks. We've been able to elevate Butler's national uh, stature just through the uh, over $200 million in advertising equivalency um, in, in coverage throughout the, the month of March. Someday, could Hinkle Fieldhouse and the Butler Bulldogs host the Big East Tournament? Well, those games are usually played at Madison Square Garden in New York, so the chances are not so much. At Hinkle Fieldhouse, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.